Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good. Amen. Good to be back here in Halifax, Nova Scotia, magnifying the name that is above every name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I pray for all those listening to the sound of my voice. Lord God, that you touch hearts. Oh God, and awaken precious souls that are not saved by your grace. God, that they would come to know the Lord Jesus Christ, repent of their sins, and trust him as Savior and Lord to escape an eternity in hell and to be given everlasting life. Lord, we give you thanks and praise. I'm on this Easter Sunday morning, Easter Sunday afternoon, we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. Amen. That it was not a fairy tale, not a myth, not an idle tale, but it was the truth. Amen. See, true Christianity is not a religion. It's the truth. Amen. Based upon the solid evidence of the Bible. Amen. And the resurrection of Jesus Christ is death, burial, and resurrection. The Bible says this in the book of Acts. Amen. In uh, chapter number one. Praise God. It says this. The former treatise of our maid of Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after that he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many infallible proofs being seen of them 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. The Bible says that Jesus Christ rose from the dead by many infallible proofs. Amen. The word infallible means proofs that cannot be mistaken. There's no mistake to these proofs. Amen. Of Christ's resurrection. Hallelujah. That he rose from the dead. And so Jesus talked about rising from the dead. Amen. Before he went to the cross. And so he died on the cross, the Bible says. And he was pierced in his two hands. That means he did not die in a stake. He died on the cross. The Bible talks about nails. Amen. He was the nails in his hands. And so he was nailed to the cross. Amen. And he was crucified. And the Bible also tells us that he was pierced after in his side. Amen. To show that he died on the cross. The Bible also tells us, amen, that he rose from the dead on the third day according to the Holy Scriptures. He was seen, amen, of the women, amen, praise God, Mary Magdalene, amen, they all saw him, they went and told the apostles, the apostles did not believe, amen, at the time, but they went down, they saw the empty tomb and they believed, praise God. But before, amen, his resurrection, when he died on the cross, the Bible tells us that he was put in the tomb of, of a man by the name of Joseph of Arimathea, a rich man, that was also prophesied in the Bible. As he was put inside that tomb, amen, the chief priests and the religious leaders, amen, tried to say that, that his disciples would come and steal his body away, trying to make up, you know, trying to make up some kind of excuse, amen. And so they said, we need, a, we need some kind of a security watch, 24-hour security watch. And we need to make sure that the tomb is sealed and secure. And so Pontius Pilate, prefect of, prefect of Judea, amen, he said, go ahead, make the tomb as sure as you can. People said, oh, Pontius Pilate didn't exist until, amen, the Bible always said that he did. Amen. Other historical writings talk about Pontius Pilate. But in 1961, they found a thing called, amen, the, the, uh, the Pilate Stone. Amen. And what it was, it was a piece of limestone, an archaeological finding that said Pontius Pilate, prefect of Judea, that dated back to the first century. The Bible is real. And so they made the tomb as sure as they could. A 2,000 pound stone that covered the tomb of the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Then they put a Roman seal around the stone, which a Roman seal was a rope around the stone, the 2,000 pound stone with a Roman seal of wax. And then they put a 24 hour watch to ensure that nobody would come and steal away the body of Jesus. Hallelujah. But guess what? The Bible says that an angel from heaven came down and rolled away the stone. Hallelujah. Amen. That 2,000 pound stone and the keepers, amen, those that were watching the tomb became as dead men. Dead men terrified. 
The nobleman, amen, they did not see the body of Jesus in the tomb anymore. Why? Because he rose from the dead, just like the angel said. Then they saw his resurrected body, amen. They told the disciples, the disciples didn't believe the women at first. Then they saw, amen, that there is no body in the tomb. Jesus rose from the dead. Hallelujah. And then there was another apostle by the name of Thomas. Thomas was not with the other 11 apostles at the time that Christ appeared to them. Then the next Sunday, Jesus appeared to Thomas. Thomas said, until I put my finger in his hand, his nail pierced hands, and my hands in his side, I will not believe. Then Jesus went to Thomas and said, Thomas, reach into thy finger and put it in my hand. He said, and reach into thy hand and put it in my side and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas said, my Lord, hallelujah, and my God. That's who Jesus Christ is. He's God in the flesh. Hallelujah. He created all things. All things were made by him, the Bible says. And then the Bible says, amen, that he came to die on the cross for your sins and mine. Why? Because the Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the good news is this, my friend. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord, that you can be free from your sins today. Amen. Where, what happens to sin? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. that leads to hell, not heaven. Sadly, tragically, most people go to hell. They don't go to heaven. You may go to many funerals and they say, oh, this person's gone to heaven. That's not what the Bible teaches in most cases. In most cases, amen, people go to hell. Why? Because they are not born again. Jesus says, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You must be born again. Your church can't save you. Your religion can't save you. I cannot save you. My church can't save you. Amen. No denomination can save you. The Pope can't save you. The priest can't save you. The pastor, the evangelist can't save you. Amen. The Bible says Mary or the saints can't save you. The Bible says only Jesus Christ of Nazareth can save you from hell and give you everlasting life. The Bible says Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh under the Father but up by me. He's the only way to heaven. The only escape from hell. But the Bible says you need to repent of your sins. What is sin? Sin is breaking God's law. Lying is sin. Stealing is sin. Homosexuality is sin. Bisexuality is sin. Transgenderism is sin. Lying is sin.